the igu has landed right this is a uh, same mangea and this part is on transformations geometrical transformations what is the transformation what are the different types of transformations and uh, how to differentiate distinguish between the different types of transformations that we have first part what is the transformation right a transformation is a change in direction it's a change in position it's a change in size that's called a transformation if you are like this this one is your face you have been hit on this face then your face will now start swelling oh so this one we can say you have been transformed that's a transformation it's enlargement then what are the different types of transformations number one we have a translation i will use t then number two we have a rotation i will use r number three we have a reflection r e this one r o that's reflection then number four we have enlargement That's enlargement E. Number five, right? Number five, we have a shear. And number six, we have stretch. These are the different types of transformations, right? Uh -huh. For Cambridge slabbers, it's just this four. Right? Right. Now, how do you differentiate between these types of transformations? Number one, size. You check on the size. If size is the same or size changed. Is size the same or size is actually changed? Uh, so if size is the same, then this one will be a translation. Or reflection. Or rotation like this if size is now different we have the image and original shape if the size of the image is now different from the size of the original shape it's an enlargement or it can be a shear or it can be a stretch like this right so uh size they were looking at the size of the image shape we have an image shape and the original shape. So you compare what the image is being made from the original. How is the image changed from the original? That's what you're explaining here. So you check on the size. Is the size of the image the same or different? If the size is the same, is translation or reflection or rotation? Now, how can you know is it translation, rotation or reflection? You move on to another dimension. You check on direction so you check on direction that's the second dimension that you have to check if direction is the same is the same or different direction then if the if the direction is the same then it will be a translation which means the image is facing the same direction as the original shape that's called a translation done then if direction is different, it can be rotation or it can be reflection, like this. Now, how can you know, is it rotation or reflection? You check now on another dimension. How is this direction changed now? If the uh, shape or image is facing exactly opposite direction, facing exactly opposite direction as to the original shape then that will be a reflection mm -hmm. otherwise it's a rotation right it will be a rotation so that's the first part then the other part on this part now enlargement shear or stretch enlargement and 
she and stretch actually they are more like the same right how can you differentiate between enlargement and stretch enlargement on enlargement the change in the dimensions of your shape actually they are the same this one the image this one the original so this one you can say original this one the image the size of the shape will be multiplied or change the same they will multiply by the same number which is called the scale factor enlargement is elaborated in another video this one just for the background right uh, then so this side is it can be multiplied by two this side will also be multiplied by two that's for enlargement but if you can find out that the multiplication factor is different like this one multiplied by three then this one can be multiplied by this one by two this one multiplied by three this one can be multiplied by two then you can know oh it's no longer enlargement what's enlargement all the size they must be enlarged with the same factor if not then it's called stretch that's called a stretch so that's how you can differentiate between stretch and enlargement just like that then a shear shear is a bit much more easier what's here it's more like the original is like this then the image it's one side one side will just be it's a bit so so it's more like it has been pulled on one side that's called a shear right hope you have understood the different types of transformations then check for the other videos for the these different types explained one by one thank you same angle signing out